Hi everyone, it's Michaela. So I have a combined Super Tarts haul for you today. Um, for those of you new to the channel, welcome. For those of you returning, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here and I really appreciate all of you and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Um, so these orders are placed, I believe, one week apart. I do have the invoices. Let me pull them out. Um, so one was placed on October 15th and the other was placed on October 24th. So roughly-ish, about a week apart. I kind of waited to combine these because of um, the first order was just three band bags. And this is interesting. Okay, um, I had heard, I had seen people posting about this before. But look at this. Do you see how this bag is like completely ripped apart? This was packaged like extremely, extremely well. Um, it was in this bag wrapped up with bubble wrap and then also in this bag. So there is no way that this happened at all from um, from shipping. And I know people were saying, well, maybe it was because it's cold. I'm in Texas, guys. It's not cold. So I wonder if there was some kind of defect or something with these bags because I, I don't know why else they would rip like this. Um, especially with me, it's not cold at all. So I definitely don't think it's caused by cold. Um, did Who else had their band bags rip open like this? I've never seen this before. Um, I mean, it's fine. I'll just rebag it, but it's just weird to me. I will try and show you. So this one is pumpkin magically delicious. So it's pumpkin combined with magically delicious, which is Lucky Charms and sugar milk. I'll just smell it through the rip because I don't want to open the top and have everything go everywhere. Yeah, so it's definitely a really nice pumpkin type scent. Um, it it's a little bit spicy. It's not super sweet. It's very pretty though. I'm excited for this one. I'll probably pretty much save it till next year. I mean, I might use some now, but I'll just go ahead and rebag this into a new bag. That way I don't lose any scent. It's just weird that those would do that. We'll see if any of my other ones did. I really wonder if she got a bad batch of bags and just doesn't realize it. Okay, so the next one is Trolls. I don't remember. It doesn't say. I don't remember what Trolls is. Um, I believe this is part of the... It's part of this suite because you can see the little sweet marker on here. I love these colors though. That's super pretty. Oh, this is a very pretty scent. Um, it's kind of... I almost think maybe it has Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebbles or something that, like that in it. I'm not sure, but I really like this. It might even have some berry in it too. I'm not sure. I'll have to look it up, but it smells very good. But these bags do seem a little bit thinner than normal. I don't know. And then the last one that I got is Basic Bitch, which I'm excited for. Um, this is like a peppermint pink sugar something blend. Oh, yeah, and her she has a really good peppermint as well. Um, I would say to most people, this is probably considered nose clearing. Oh, that's very, very good. I'm excited for this one. I love these type of scents. I use them year round. So I don't know if I'll rush into using this one, but I will definitely use it. And this is probably one that once I melt through it, I would definitely get more of because I like those type of scents. And then she does have a sample in Mac Daddy. Sorry for the glare. I don't know what Mac Daddy is. I don't know if I've ever smelled it. So definitely like a Mac Apple fruity scent. That's pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's really pretty. I definitely get that Mac Apple though. So then the next order is like the fruity berry stuff. And I had watched Canada Kim. And so, let me see. So yeah, fruity and berry. So I watched Canada Kim and she talked about the price differences, how this fan bag weighs pretty much the same as three clamshells, um, but like it's almost cheaper to get three clamshells. 
So this time in this order, I just ordered clamshells, but then I remembered I really don't like ordering the clamshells very much. So then after this order, I went back to band bags anyway. But um, I did get a ton in this order. And so it was kind of nice doing the clamshells because at this point she wasn't offering the half bams. Um, and I probably would have gotten half bams in a lot of these instead, just because I wanted so much. So a lot of these I got multiples of. I'll try and figure out which ones I did. So the first one I have here is Allie. Allie, I just got one of. So this one is Ginger Ale, Satsuma, and Boysenberry. That's very pretty. I can't pop it out because it's broken, so I can't smell the bottom. I definitely get the um, Ginger Ale and Satsuma, and I do think I get the Boysenberry. I don't know exactly what that's supposed to smell like. But I really like the scent that I can smell on the top of this. And it doesn't smell just like Satsuma. So I really think that it's the boysenberry that I'm smelling that brings kind of a, a different fruity aspect to it. So that one is very pretty. I'm excited to warm it. Definitely a lot of these are going to be more like spring and summer. So let me see. I'm just checking to see if I got one or two. So this one I did get two of, so I don't know where the second one is, but we'll find it. So this one is Tormund, I think is how you say it, which is buttercream, harvest ale, plum, and ginger ale. And a lot of these names, well, some of these names might change because I know she redid a lot of her names after this. So I can't guarantee that this is the same name or any of these are the same names anymore. There were so many, I don't remember which ones changed and which ones didn't. Okay. So I get the plum and a little bit of the ale. Maybe a hint of buttercream. It's hard to smell it just on the top, but again, this one's broken also. So I don't want to pop it out and get wax fur once I get lipstick on it. So it's pretty from the top. I think it's going to be really nice when I melt it. I don't have very many plum scents, which is kind of why I wanted more. And I really like fizzy type scents in the summertime. Okay, this one's Alice. I've had Alice before. I'm assuming I got two of these as well. Yes, I did. So Alice is Fizzy Pop Apricot and Raspberry. This is a beautiful scent, and whenever I've had it in the past, it's been super strong performer. Like, almost blow you out of your house strong. Oh, yeah, it's so good. I mean, that Fizzy Pop combined with Apricot and Raspberry is just, oh, so good. So if you haven't tried this and you like fizzy, I highly, highly suggest it. Red Hulk. So I've never had this one, but a lot of people were saying it, or maybe it just was on the list for top sellers. So I did get two. This one's Strawberry Jam, Cornbread, and Toasted Marshmallow. I have been noticing more and more that I really do like um, cornbread scents. So I wanted to try it. Yeah, so I really get the cornbread, um, maybe a hint of the strawberry jam. It's cracked on top as well. Yeah, this is going to be pretty. I'm excited to melt this one. This is probably one I could do sooner rather than later because of the cornbread, but I could also melt this one year round. That's the nice thing about these um, fruity berry scents is a lot of them I can melt pretty much any time. Um, 90210, so this is peach, coconut, sponge sugar, vanilla cream, beach florals, ocean air, and melon. So I think that this is, is it one of her blends, like maybe her rain blend with peach and coconut? I don't know. It seems like this has more than one blend in it. I'm not sure. Did I get two of this one? No, I only got one of this one to try. So I get a lot of the ocean air and melon and beach florals on the top. Um, I don't get much peach and coconut. I, maybe a hint of peach. It definitely doesn't smell like the cat pea smell to me like some people say. This one's broken as well so I don't want to pop it out um, and it's kind of like cracked along the whole corner. I think I'm gonna like this one, but I'm glad I got just one to try and see what I think. 
That one's definitely a summer scent to me because of the ocean air. Okay, so this is my second Alice. So I got two of those. Okay, this one is 17 Cherry Tree Lane. So it's black cherry, buttercream, almond, cookie dough, and vanilla bean. I am trying more and more cherries. I only got one of this one because I don't always like cherry. And so, but the rest of the stuff in it sounded really good to me. So I wanted to try it, but I didn't want to try too much. Okay, so that buttercream almond cookie dough is really kind of what I get first. So the cherries there, oh my gosh, I keep on getting like lipstick everywhere. The cherries there, but it's not super overpowering. And I think the almond and the buttercream and the cookie dough really kind of mellow it out enough where I think I'll probably like this one. So I might end up getting more of this one someday, eventually. Um, the next one is the Hurrier I Go, the Behinder I Get, which is raspberry cake, coconut shavings, vanilla bean, and satsuma. I've had this one before as well. This is a really pretty scent. Um, it throws well, but I wouldn't say it's like a kick you out of your house scent. But yeah, it's really pretty. I really get that raspberry cake, satsuma, and the coconut. This is a pretty color too. Did I get two of these ones? Yes, I got two of those ones. Okay, the next one is World of Imagination which is coconut, black cherry, orange zest, vanilla bean, pound cake, and velvet sugar. I don't know if you can hear my dog, but she's snoring in the background. She has a, a difficult life. Oh, this one's pretty. I think that I first kind of get the velvet sugar and then like the bakery note, which is a hint of the, the cherry and the orange. That's really pretty. I like that one. I think I only got one of this one as well. Yep, I only got one of that one as well because of the cherry. I was, I wanted to try them, but I was worried about the cherry. So this is the second one of the hur the hurrier I go, the behinder I get. Like, I feel like that's my life saying. The faster I try and go, the slower I am. The more I try and do, the less it gets done. I don't know. Second of Torment. That's how you say it. I don't know. Um, next, we have Stranger Things, which is cold cherry. I think it's supposed to be cola, not cold cherry. Um, cola, cherry, vanilla, waffle cone, and upside down cake. And I've had this one before. It's just been a while. Yeah, so you really get that cherry cola with a little bit of the kind of bakery. That's pretty. I'm excited for that one. I believe I got two of this one as well. We will see. Red Hulk, that's my second one. Um, Ruby Slippers. So this is strawberry, vanilla cream, sugary milk, and pound cake. That one's pretty. So, to me, it smells like a strawberry jam, um, not like a fresh picked strawberry. And then I really do get kind of that sugary cream type scent in the pound cake. But the first thing I get is kind of like that strawberry jam type scent. So that's Ruby Slippers. There's my second Ruby Slippers. Okay, red skull, so strawberry, zucchini, bread, and buttercream. I've really been liking zucchini as well. Yeah, that's pretty. So the zucchini is what comes out first and then the strawberry. And I'm almost thinking this is kind of like a strawberry jam type one to me also. I think it's more of a strawberry type jam. I don't really get like fresh picked strawberries, but that also could be the zucchini bread. I think that one will be nice and warm. I know it's one of the popular ones as well. 
And this is my second one of the Red Skull. Okay. Next we have Jessica Jones, which is Blackberry and Rain. This one's really good. I have this one in like a perfume from forever ago. I really, really like that one. I'm excited to have this one again. So there's that one. And I think I have two of those. Yep. Okay, there's my second Stranger Things. Um, Proton Pack, which is Blueberry Pie Crust and Whipped Cream. I wonder if they were having an issue with their printer. Because if you compare this one to this one, see how this label looks more faded? Can you even tell on the camera? I don't know if you can tell, but this label looks kind of faded compared to normal. Okay, so blueberry pie crust and whipped cream. I think I just got one of these. Yeah. Oh, if I can get it open. Oh, that one's pretty. Okay, so I really get kind of that blueberry pie crust note. And it's a pretty one. I do like that one. That one will be good. And I don't mind with the clamshells just having one because I can melt them. Um, upstairs if I wanted to use a whole one. Okay, so this one's Oklahoma. Sorry, I'm just trying to look at my thing. Okay. So Oklahoma is blueberry and biscuits. I think it's biscuits. I think it's supposed to be biscuits. That's not what it says. It looks like it got uh, mistyped, maybe. I think it's supposed to be blueberry and biscuits, which is why I wasn't so sure about it. So I only got one, but it's popular. So that's a really nice blueberry scent. I don't know if I get much biscuits, but the blueberry isn't as strong as normal. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be blueberry and biscuits. But I think I just got one of those ones as well. Yes. And then the last one is mini bows, which is ice lemonade, lollipops, and strawberries. I just got one of these ones as well. I do like her ice lemonades and lollipop blends. In fact, I have Mary Mouse. I think it's called going upstairs today. And this one's really pretty. It's really like a strawberry lemonade. It's like sweeter though because of the ice, the lollipops. Okay, and then I do have a sample. The sample's in Baywatch. I don't know if I've had Baywatch before. She has so many scent blends. It's hard to remember sometimes what I've had and what I haven't had, especially when there's just so much. So this is kind of a fruity, sweetie smell. Kind of smells a little candy-like to me. Maybe even cherry? I'm not sure. So that is my order. Um, so here's my thing. I love the performance of Super Tarts. I think that they have amazing performance. Um, I'm just a little worried maybe about the quality control lately, but I know that they've had so much going on. Like I totally, I, I understand that they've had a lot of personal stuff, but these labels to me, they just don't look quite as bright as normal. Like, like can you see maybe, maybe you can see the difference between these two. How, I don't, I can't, don't think you can really tell on camera, but like in person, this one is brighter and darker and more vibrant. I guess you can a little bit. Look at the strawberries. See how the strawberries are richer in color and brighter, and this one just looks super faded for some reason. Um, and I'm, I'm not super worried about broken clamshells, but I don't love it. 
I mean, it all melts the same, but like some of them are just broken really weird. Like I had the one that was broken across the corner, which when it's broken across the corner like that, it just makes it really hard to use and break appropriately. And it's just, I can't find it now. And it's just kind of weird to me that they crack like that because they're packaged so well. So I know that we like to blame so much on the post office, but I'm not sure that some of these are because of the post office, if that makes sense. I mean, most of mine were fine. I probably had less than half that were broken. Um, and the other thing is these bags. Like, I really think that I, it doesn't get cold enough here. And I mean, I guess unless they were left outside at the post office there, I like it really looks like it got snagged on something and like sliced open or something. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how well you can tell in the camera, but I don't know. I love Super Tars. I love their performance. I'm just seeing a few quality control issues right now. I don't know if you guys are seeing those as well. I mean, of course, I'm going to continue to buy because it performs very well in my house. But if I keep constantly having issues, then I might have to be a little more cautious. I tend not to have as many issues with the band bags because they don't crack. Um, and so I don't normally order that many clamshells anyway. So I don't know. Let me know. Did you guys have any ripped up band bags like I did? I know that other people have had the broken clamshells for a long time now. Um, so that's pretty common. But um, yeah, just let me know how your order turned out. If you had any issues as well, I'm curious. I'll just go ahead and rebag my band bag. I mean, in the long run, it's not that big of a deal because I already have band bags, but I imagine if someone was new to wax and they didn't have stuff like that on hand, then it might be kind of a big deal when things like that happen. So I don't know, I'm excited for these scents. I got a lot of really great scents, some returning favorites that I've tried before, some new ones. So I'm excited to try them. Um, I hope that your day is going well. I hope that you are having a happy holiday season and enjoying your time with your family. Please comment down below on maybe some of the things you're doing with your family this week or next week and some of your favorite holiday traditions. I was gonna do a chop and chat, kind of going over holiday traditions, but I just ran out of time. But maybe I'll do something over on my Instagram account. I Probably as we travel, I'll probably throw up a few things on my Instagram account. It'll be a lot easier than trying to record a full video and upload it when I won't have access to my home internet. I mean, I'll probably take my computer with me, but it's not the same when I don't have my home internet to work on things. So please follow me over there because then you'll be able to see some of the things that we're doing while we're gone. And I'll try and share some family things as well over there. Um, yeah, but I have, like I said, have a great holidays and I will see you next time.